we know that you get right into it. We only have like five minutes and three people want to get in uh, as we put a cap, not just to the show, but the NIL talk. Larry and Stafford, what you got, Larry? I'm going to take up all five minutes. <laughs> we got two other guys. What you got? <laughs> Look here, man. Chris on these airways sounding like the old elitist that he is, man. As if LSU has not done the same thing with the NIL and all their alumni getting all that bad rouge money together to try to get them some dudes to come over there and play for them. You got to flip, Larry. The elites are the ones sitting at the country club at College Station trying to outbid their buddies. Yes, they're writing these checks to these kids to win bragging wars to go, we had the best recruiting class. What it ain't about what's best interest for the kids. Are you telling me there's no elitist sitting in that old Baton Rouge? Oh, there's some, but here's the difference. No, 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 here's the difference, Larry. LSU's won three championships in the last 20 years. Their fan base isn't as hungry. The Aggies are literally willing to open up their savings accounts and, hey, I'll give you all the money in my savings account if I can win a title with the Aggies. That's what they're – it's a little bit different, but I'm just saying, like, it's a weird thing to me that these are old, rich, white people winning battles with their buddies. Oh, you know, Tom in Oklahoma, hey, you see, we got the number one recruiting class. When I'm like, is that really what's best for these 17-year-old kids? You don't care about what's best for the kids. I do care about what's best for the kids. Well, here's the thing, then. Here's the thing. Because if if that's the case, these 17-year-old kids are making decisions that they and their parents are making a decision on. And you're saying... And I hope that's... I, no, no, no. I hope that's right. I hope that's right, Larry, because I'm saying. Well, I remember when I went to college and all they gave me was room for tuition and a meal plan. And then they told me every single day that I showed up for practice. This is your job and you have to be here. Well, I didn't even have my name on the back of a jersey or something like that. And yet. The university was making tons of money off the backs of everybody that was out there falling. And then when you go and pass the campus bookstore, you see everybody in there applauding you about the great game you had that night. Meanwhile, your ass can't even buy a Domino's pizza. And my mama was still living in a shotgun house on cinder block. And then my sister and brothers were sweeping in the same room. And so then now you want to tell people, well, well, you can't take that money. No, Larry, Larry, no, 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 stop, Larry. I'm not saying don't take that money. Absolutely. What I'm worried about, though, for the kid is that, one, he's going to have the best place to, to advance his football career. Two, he's going to actually, you know, work towards getting the degree, the whole point of going to college in the first place. And three, make money on the back end. What I'm worried about is too many of these kids are going to get the big payday to come to college, and then they never make it to the NFL because they got sidetracked or they made the wrong decision. I'm saying what, what if, think about both. Think about now and think about the long term. What if there is no back end? What if there is no long term? Maybe what it is that, that all they have is right now because you know what? Sometimes the situation works out the way it's supposed to work. But I'll say this sure. and I'll let you go on it. It's, 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 it's football. They chose to do this. The NCAA could have solved this issue a long time ago when O'Bannon and them was trying to get that money for when they was playing in the NCAA tournament. But the NCAA decided to stay in those old smoke filled back rooms and keep all the money to themselves. And now that the brothers started to get paid, oh, we got a problem with it. I'll tell you what. No. If my son was going out there and they offered my son to. If, I, if they offered my son a million dollars to go to A&M and LSU upped it up to two million, he's going to LSU. That's how the game works. Welcome to capitalism in our house. Brad, what you got, Brad? 